reporting live, Mr. Crunch215. I'm back with another amazing video for you guys today. And today's video is going to be based on how to get an open net type on your PS4 playing Black Ops 3 using the NetDuma R1 Gamer Router. Before we get into the video, please drop a comment, please drop a like, please subscribe. If you're new to my channel, um, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to have the links in the description. And we're about to get into this video right now. <laughs> Welcome back. So the reason why I'm making this video is because it took me a real long time on how to figure out how to get an open net type consistently. And I wanted to share this video to see if it helped you guys out there and if it actually works for other people. Well, I know it works for me because I get it. I get it open net all the time now. So before we get started or before we do anything in the settings in the net Duma, what I want you guys to do is have your Xbox or PS4 completely shut off, like completely. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings and we're going to use the port forwarding method. After that, it's going to say rule name. Our rule name is just going to name it open net. You can name it anything. I just open, I just put open net. So our start port is going to be 3074 and 3074 is for the PS4. If you're on Xbox, you want to put 3075. Our input is going to be the same, which is 3074. Our protocol is going to be UDP. Now for the IP address, um, I have my IP address blocked for my safety issue, well, for my safety. So to find your IP address is going to be for the PS4. What you can do is you can go to device manager and it'll show you all your IP addresses. Find the one for the PS4 and just enter the last three numbers right here. And like I said, I have it blocked off for my safety. After that's entered, after all this is entered, you want to hit add rule. Now, the most important thing you want to do here is after you hit add rule, you want to put apply hit apply and once that and once this is applied we can go on to the next step the next step we're going to go to congestion control we want to scroll all the way down to hyper traffic hit add new hyper service we're going to select ps4 playstation network done then we're going to hit add new hyper service again ps4 playstation network then hit advanced, hit both. Port number is going to be 3074, which is PS4. If you're on Xbox, it's 3075. Protocol, we're going to hit UDP, hit done. Your screen should ultimately look like this. For our next step, we're going to go to host filtering. Let that load up. Then we're going to hit select service. It's the same as the um, hyper service, but we're going to hit PS4. PlayStation Network, hit done. Hit this again, select service, PS4. Next, PlayStation Network, hit advanced, hit both. Port number, 3074 for the PS4, 3075 for the Xbox Live. Hit UDP. Hit done. And that's it. Now, for the next step, what you want to do is, now like I said before in the beginning of the video, the PS4 or the Xbox should be turned off completely. You want to go to settings, miscellaneous. You want to scroll down and you want to reboot the router. The reason why I'm not going to reboot my router is because if I reboot it, it's going to stop the recording. It's going to stop the whole video. But what you want to do is hit reboot router. Um, and once it reboots and once everything is back up and running, then you want to turn on your PS4, load that up, turn on Black Ops. You should have an open net type. It should say open. Now, if that doesn't work, what you want to do is you want to go to Device Manager. Once you're in Device Manager, um, if you have this blue box right here, you want to hit um, View Other Router Interface. The other router is basically the router that the NetDuma R1 Game Router is hooked up to. So you want to click that. You want to sign into that. Um, then what you want to do is you want to find the DMZ settings and once you find the DMZ settings, you want to hit enable and it's going to ask for a WAN IP address. The WAN IP address is what you want to enter, which is right here. Like I said before, I have mine blocked off for my safety. So what you want to do is it should be a number right, let's see, right, right here. It should be an IP address right here and that's what you want to enter in there. Then you'll hit enable and you want to hit apply. 
Once you've done that, you want to, like I said, you want to come back to settings, go to miscellaneous. And you want to scroll down again and hit reboot router. Man, once the, once the router reboots, everything's back up and running. Uh, just load up your game, load up Black Ops 3 or Infinite Warfare or whatever the case, or whatever the game you're playing. And you should ultimately, ultimately have an open net type. Now, I want to say this again. Uh, let's just say you're done gaming for the night. You turn your game off. And, you know, the next morning, what I would recommend you do before you turn your game on is come back down here. Come back to the settings, the miscellaneous settings. And I suggest you reboot the router. Let it load up again. Then start gaming. And you should have an open night, open net type consistently. If this video was helpful, helpful for you, please drop a comment, drop a like. Please subscribe. If you have any more questions or concerns, I could also show you how to uh, get an open net using the UPnP uh, method. But all you have to do is let me know in the comment section. And it's Mr. Crunch215. I'm signing out. Peace.